Everyone loves a turtle. That's just a fact. For some of us, the turtle is our first part, and for others, our lifelong friend. And what sort of environment does it need to be housed properly in your home? But there are a lot of species that most of us don't even know about. From an unsexy turtle named after one of America's sexiest stars to a very popular turtle in the trading world, here are the 15 turtles you won't believe actually exist. <sighs> Number 15. Mae West it may well surprise you to find out that a turtle named after one of Hollywood's most famous sex symbols is actually, well, not sexy. Actually, maybe you're grateful for that. The Mae West turtle is named in her honor for a whole other reason, her figure. Mae West, the turtle, was discovered 20 years ago in the drainage canals of New Orleans. The tiny hatchling had accidentally got stuck in a plastic milk jug ring, but couldn't shake it. As she grew older and older, she just couldn't break the plastic belt that was around her waist. As a result, her shell is permanently deformed into an hourglass-like shape. Sadly, it's never going to adjust to a more normal form. Pollution has forever damaged this animal's physicality. This is really the perfect example of how pollution and single-use plastic is harming many of the world's animals. Despite an increase in recycling, single-use plastic doesn't go anywhere. And when an innocent creature like Mae West, the turtle, wanders right into the middle of it, the entire course of an animal's life can be changed forever. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Central American Wood Turtle The pet trade is big business when it comes to turtles. There are so many types and individual species that you could probably find an owner for every single one. The Central American Wood Turtle, in particular, is very popular and common. That's likely because these animals are incredibly easy to take care of. At around 8 inches long, with a beautiful, bright appearance and an intelligent, tame personality, it's pretty clear why they make such popular pets. They can even be fed by hand, which makes them especially popular with children or younger people. It goes without saying that the Central American Wood Turtle comes from, well, Central America, but the location completely changes their appearance, with the Nicaragua turtles being distinctly less flashy than their Costa Rica counterparts. Thankfully though, they're just as cute and just as easy to handle and maintain. By their very nature, turtles tend to be some of the easiest animals to take care of, but there's something exceptionally personable about the Central American wood turtle. Probably more personable than people, if I'm being totally honest. Number 13. Painted Turtle Possible that in our lifetimes, we will see a painted turtle that turns out immortal. As unrealistic and silly as that sounds, this animal generally has a lifespan of between 20 and 30 years. But there have been some known to live over 50. So it's possible. The painted turtle is the most widespread native turtle anywhere in North America. These animals spend most of their time in the water and are known to spend five or six hours a day just basking in the sun. That's a lot of time spent doing nothing, which is either excruciating or wonderful. Depending on how your lockdown period went, the painted turtle's diet is made up of fish, worms, insects, and aquatic plants. But they have a very unusual condition that prevents them from eating on land. The turtles cannot freely move their tongues when on land so they must eat in the water if they hope to eat and wash it down. Weird, right? The painted turtle is considered a good starter pet due to their gentle and docile nature, but it's fair to say that they're not exactly low maintenance. And anyway, if you get the pet as a 10-year-old, you may still be taking care of it at 60. Number 12. Caspian Pond Turtle We're slightly stretching it in this case, as the Caspian Pond Turtle is barely existing. Sadly, the population has been declining due to poor interactions with humans, storks, and vultures. And with few breeders, there's not much hope that the population will boom anytime soon. The Caspian Pond Turtle is a species found all around the world, from Crete to Saudi Arabia, 
Because they're fast growing and take up so much space, they're not especially well known as pets, but they are known to be pretty adaptable and capable of making homes in just about any freshwater environment. In fact, they're so adaptable that the turtles change their diet as they grow. As hatchlings, the Caspian pond turtle is a carnivore, but when they become adults, their diet switches to a more omnivorous one. And the elders have even been observed to be herbivores. Talk about fad diets. It's heartbreaking to think that an animal like the Caspian pond turtle is suffering a brutal population decline. Even the most adaptable species are unable to fight against such a fate. But they can change their diet based on age, so that's something. Number 11. Red-Eared Slider Turtle Of all the turtles native to the United States, the red-eared slider turtle is definitely one of the most fascinating. This freshwater turtle is native to the Mississippi Valley and is a menace to many innocent and unsuspecting species. The red-eared slider is easily the most popular pet turtle anywhere in the United States and is pretty popular everywhere else too, so it stands to reason that they're the most traded turtle in the world. Which opens up an unusual problem. These turtles turn up in areas they shouldn't be. When owners grow tired of their pets or are no longer able to take care of them, they release them into the wild. Of course, in the wild, these turtles become known as invasive species, a non-native species that proves to outcompete the natives, effectively destroying the established ecosystems. In fact, the red-eared slider has been named one of the world's 100 most invasive species by the IUCN. That's the animal equivalent of the FBI's most wanted list, I guess. Of course, none of this will harm the red-eared slider's reputation as the world's most beloved pet turtle. After all, one look at the little guys and you'll fall in love. But, you know, just remember that the animal FBI are on the case. Number 10. Reeves Turtle Some turtles have an identity problem. I'm not saying they're conceived, they're the resurrected form of Freddie Mercury or anything, but they go by so many names, it can be challenging to keep up with. Take the Reeves Turtle, or the Chinese Pond Turtle, or the Moramese Reevesy, or the Chinese Three-Killed Pond Turtle, because they're all the same animal. Four names, one turtle. I don't know either. The, um, we'll just call it turtle, is a species endemic to Asia. On average, they live between 10 and 15 years. She's probably the most tame turtle I have. I've had her since she was a baby for about four years now though some can live up to 20 years if given the right conditions. Of course, they're also teeny tiny little animals, many only reaching 9 inches, at their full size. Like many animals in our modern world, the Chinese pond turtle is facing some pretty tough times. Due to competition from released pet red-eared slider turtles, overhunting, capture, and general habitat destruction, this animal has been named an endangered species. Luckily, they breed like rabbits. But still, in case you're wondering why Chinese three-keeled pond turtles are victims of overhunting, we should explain that some people believe that these turtles have benefits for traditional Chinese medicine. Whether or not that's true is, um, well, someone else can deal with that. I'm still trying to work out what this turtle is called. Number 9. Eastern Box Turtle I have no idea if there are people that are afraid of turtles, but if there are, this is one probably high on their list. The Eastern Box Turtle is especially notable for its unique eyes. In males, these turtles have red eyes, which are striking or terrifying. It's a thin line between the two. The Eastern Box Turtle is one of only six surviving subspecies of the Box Turtle, but that's far from the most fascinating thing about this creature. That's the first pair that I got this year. That's Tiki and Cleo. Believe it or not, when kept in captivity, these turtles are known to live well over a century. That's right. These turtles can reach the age of 101 or more if they're treated correctly. Of course, in the wild, they have no chance. The constant threat of predators and lurking disease means they'll be gone long before. But still, an incredible life. The eastern box turtle are fascinating creatures to study. They travel around 164 feet every single day at something of an energetic speed. And even if they find themselves in an unfamiliar location, their trustworthy homing instinct will always help them find their way back home. Number 8. Mississippi Map Turtle You may not be too aware of what a map turtle is, but rest assured, there are a lot of them. 
13 officially recognized species to be specific. The map turtle is one of the two subspecies of the false map turtle, which is itself a species of map turtle. This sounds very complicated. Look, there's a group of turtles, and one of those turtles has some more turtles under them. It's a pyramid scheme with turtles. Let's just get into it. The Mississippi map turtle is an aquatic turtle that is, perhaps, surprisingly, not at all native to the state of Mississippi. In actuality, they get their name from the Mississippi River, which spans 10 states and provides a popular home for these fascinating little things. These turtles are incredibly popular with aquarists and are apparently very fun to watch. If you're into watching turtles, that is. If not, you'll probably be pretty bored. Doesn't matter what anyone says, it's nothing like a let's play. Map turtles get their name from the unique markings on their bodies, which resemble the lines on a map. For those young enough to not know what a map is, it was basically a book for people with no sense of direction. Number seven, Russian tortoise. I have absolutely no proof of this, but I believe that this is Putin's favorite of all the animals on this list, for obvious reasons. And by obvious reasons, I mean that he is a fan of tortoises. Everyone knows that. Despite the name, Russian tortoises are actually found all over the world, especially Asia. For whatever reason, it seems these animals have a huge population in Asia and the Middle East. It is so cute. Look at its little shell. They're also built to last. If looked after correctly, one Russian tortoise can live to the ripe old age of 50-ish. Well, even tortoises don't like talking about their age. As with most animals that come from Russia, the Russian tortoise has one of the highest tolerances for extreme temperatures, although they're still known to burrow underground to shield themselves from these conditions. Perhaps the most intriguing and baffling bit of trivia that I can share about the Russian tortoise is this. They're apparently just like dogs. You can't walk them or anything, you'd be there all week. But these animals apparently apparently have a very social and pleasant personality, not unlike that of a dog. What is Russian for how interesting? Number 6. African Aquatic Side Neck Turtle What does it mean to have a side neck? It's actually kind of misleading. This turtle's neck is undoubtedly longer than most, and for a good reason, but side neck, not so much. They are, however, too cute to put into words. They're like a Hanna-Barbera cartoon from the 60s brought to life. This animal is called a side neck because they can't fully bury their heads inside their shell, as some other turtles do. When they feel threatened, the turtle coils its head to the side and folds its head below its shell's upper edge. Hence, side neck. But these creatures use their extra long neck for an excellent reason, survival. If the turtle finds itself turned upside down onto its shell, it can use its neck to get back onto its feet. Compare that to just about any other turtle who are lucky to ever get themselves flipped back over. There he goes. The African side neck is almost certainly one of the cuter turtles in our world, and since they're known to live over 50 years in the wild, they make a tremendous and long-lasting addition to any kind of aquarium. Now someone, please give him a cartoon series. Number 5. Greek Tortoise It's all Greek to me. Actually, that phrase is a lie when specifically used in relation to the Mediterranean tortoises, and here's why. There are only five species of tortoise in the Mediterranean, and they're not all Greek. I know nobody said it or asked or even cares, but they're case closed. Greek tortoise subspecies are known to be some of the longest lived of the tortoises. The Greek tortoise actually isn't really Greek whatsoever, so all of that was kind of pointless. Actually, this tortoise earned its name due to the similarity between the unique patterns on its shell and the borders of traditional Greek mosaics. So, another lie in the tortoise world. There are many subspecies of Greek tortoises, all of them completely unique to one another. After all, these tortoises live everywhere, from arid, hot climates, to freezing cold ones. They also live 
for over 125 years, with some apparently still thriving at 200 years old. To sum up, Greek tortoises are not Greek, live all over the place for centuries, and there's a lot of them. Most people have likely never heard of the Greek tortoise, which isn't so surprising. After all, it's not like there's a lot of them and they don't live that long. Oh, right. I just disapproved both of those things. It's all Greek to me. Number 4. Razor-backed musk turtles. It goes without saying, do not mess with any animal with the words razor-backed in its name. They may not be outright threatening, but one wrong move and you'll be painting the town red. It'll be like a gory Jackson Pollock. Anyway, turtles. The razor-backed musk turtle is the biggest member of the musk turtle family. It spends almost all of its life in the water, though it occasionally comes to the surface to bask in the sunlight. They will generally prefer to live their lives in swamps and slow-moving rivers, but have been found in streams and shallow ponds. But let's be honest, you want to know about the razors. These turtles have a very sharp keel running along their shell which gives the turtle its name. A little bit of accidental contact with this thing, and you'll be crying out for your mommy. The razor-backed musk turtle is a native animal to the United States, and of course, being a swamp animal, it prefers the hotter climates of states like Texas, Florida, and Louisiana. Next time you go down to the swamp, keep an eye open for a floating razor. Just don't touch. Or do, but, you know, be ready. Number 3. Green Sea Turtle You may not know it yet, but you already love the Green Sea Turtle. How could I possibly know that you're wondering? Well, we all love the Green Sea Turtle. Only, we know him as the Gnarly Crush from the Finding Nemo movies. Much like their animated counterpart, Green Sea Turtles are pretty cool, man. These are graceful animals that can swim at over 35 miles per hour and hold their breath for hours at a time. And that's in mild temperatures. In colder waters, they can hold their breath even longer. Super cool! Green Sea Turtles are actually the largest of all hard-shell sea turtles, often growing up to 5 feet long and weighing over 700 pounds. Of course, while they're incredibly agile and graceful underwater, their land experience is… well, less so. They take their time on the surface, and usually, they're only on land to lay their eggs. For the most part, the green sea turtle, much like Crush, prefers to live its life in the surf's gnarly waves. And considering how big and fast they are, I can't really say I blame them. Number 2. Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle Despite having an absurdly long name, these animals are actually very small. And by very small, I mean they are the smallest and most vulnerable species of sea turtle you can find anywhere in the world. So yeah, very small is accurate. To be specific, the Kemp's Ridley sea turtles weigh up to 100 pounds as adults and only 2 feet in length. They're only found in two countries, in the Gulf of Mexico, which makes them incredibly vulnerable to local threats including fishing, egg harvesting, and oil spills. And apparently those threats have actually had a significant impact. The IUCN has officially listed the Kemp's Ridley sea turtles as critically endangered, more endangered than any other species of sea turtle. Thankfully, due to the harvesting of the turtle's eggs being made illegal in 1966, the species numbers are recovering, though not as quickly as many would like. For such a small animal, the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle has a big impact. This animal is one that many people love to admire. Hence why so many work around the clock to protect and save them from potential extinction. I imagine they have a catchy name too. Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle Saviors. Get an acronym. Number 1. Loggerhead Turtle Fun fact, the phrase at loggers heads came from this turtle. It's true. If by true you mean unverified, which I do, I have absolutely no idea if that's true, but it would be cool if it was. The loggerhead sea turtle is actually the largest of all soft shell sea turtle species. And that is true. In a verified way this time, on average loggerhead turtles have a shell around 3 feet long and usually weigh somewhere around 250 pounds. But as always, that's just the average. And there have been some much larger specimens 
found out in the wild. These incredible animals have been found in almost every part of the world, except for any body of water that's freezing, because even turtles have standards. These turtles are carnivorous creatures and are well known to feast on everything from crabs to fish and squid. They also eat seaweed, just because, you know, we all need our greens. The loggerhead is without question one of the most common species of turtle you can find anywhere in the world. And thanks to their long, sharp beaks, they're also one of the many animals that I will happily stay away from. Did you know about any of these turtles before you tuned in? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!